will be elongated it will be bigger right now okay so shape ke upar pe depend karti hai and it is also depending upon the uh, direction of the sunlight which is falling on the object right now okay also do tell me one more thing ki suppose you might have observed now that if there is a candle burning somewhere and let's suppose behind there is a wall piche ek wall hai and some kid na tries to bring the hand closer to the candle so a uh, shadow will be formed in the wall here right now ek shadow ki formation hogi let's suppose the shadow is formed here and the kid has brought his hand here just behind the candle try to understand this what i'm trying to draw here ye shadow ki formation hogi so you might have seen that once you bring the hand closer to the candle bigger image bigger shadow is formed getting it what i'm trying to say yes i'm trying to say that when you bring the object closer to the light so bigger shadow is formed so either you bring the object closer to the light or you can bring the candle closer to the hand also and as you move away from the source of the light the image uh, shadow size becomes smaller and smaller can you uh, tell me the reason why it happens so why it happens think of the reason like why it is happening suppose you have put a um, flower pot here because the hand covers more distance uh, i mean more uh, uh, more percentage of the uh, 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 light when it is brought closer mm, basically what is happening now the hand is blocking more percentage of light okay no? so it was blocking more percentage of light when is it is brought closer to the uh, source of light to the candle basically so hope that is clear good then okay uh do tell me one more thing that there were two type of two type of curved mirrors if you remember i did told you about curved mirrors do you recall the name of the two type of curved mirrors hmm. there were two type of curved mirrors have you look at the uh, spoon yes sir spoon spoon has got two surfaces the front and the back but how does it look it looks like this Yes, sir. What were the two different type of curved mirrors? Hello. Yes, sir. <laughs> There were two type of mirror mirrors. One was mainly concave mirror, and the another one is convex mirror. Okay, now. <laughs> so that is the thing over here. now if you were to look at the front portion of the mirror uh, sorry the spoon which is bent inward okay na so ye concave mirror ki tarah dikhta hai so concave mirror is like this okay na this is the concave mirror hope you are able to understand this thing and talking about the convex mirror if you were to look at the back portion of the spoon so you can understand the back portion of the spoon as the um convex mirror hope you are able to understand this thing okay now hmm. also you might have seen a very common phenomena that if you were to look at the spoon from the if you were to look at the front portion of the spoon so you might have seen you get a inverted image try doing this thing if you have a very shiny spoon so in the front portion the image form will be inverted upside down ho gayi it will be like this getting it what i'm trying to say yes sir and when you look at your image from you from the back portion of the spoon then it will be appearing erect like this so hope these things are clear to you okay yes sir acha before we conclude this thing can you tell me what is the difference between the ray of light and what is the diff- what is beam of light ray of light and beam of light what do you mean by this hmm 
simply let me draw it. This is a ray of light and this is the beam of light. What difference do you spot between the two? Yes, Abu. There's a very, very common, uh, very simple differences between the two. You see, a single ray of light, right now, and we are, you are having multiple rays of light. It is called as beam of light. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, no. Can you tell me about reflection? Just a little bit about reflection. A reflection is uh, a thing that uh, that uh, whatever uh, like reflection, like whatever is happening on uh, uh, in its front, it reflects the thing. <clears throat> uh, but that does not cover the essence of reflection. See, basically what reflection is. Huh? This light, whenever light is coming from a luminous object, whether it be from sun or whether it be from a torch. So, when the light comes, you know, for example, light rays are traveling like this. Or suppose there is a very smooth surface like this, like a smooth plane surface. For example, a plane mirror. So, light is supposed coming from air and this is a plane mirror. So medium ke agar baat karte hai, so here the medium in which the light is traveling is air and this is a solid. Okay, no? So basically what happens when light coming from a medium falls upon a smooth surface, falls upon a smooth surface, it bounces back into the same medium from where it came. So it might bounce like this. Getting it, Abu? It was coming from the air, uh, from the air. Okay, now it came in contact with the solid surface, which is smooth. It bounced back into that same medium. Air se aara tha, wapas air pe bounce back ho gaya. So that is the simple concept of reflection. Hope you are able to understand this. And you are able to see everything here on Earth. We are able to see different things here on Earth because of the phenomena of reflection. Reflection ke wajay se hum different cheezon ko dekh pa rahe. Right now, how are we able to see different things around us? For example, there is a chair here. So you are able to view this chair. Why is it so? Because suppose someone flashed a torchlight here. This is a torchlight flash key and this was, this, this is where the light is falling upon it. And once it came in contact with, it got reflected. It reflected. And suppose someone was sitting here. So some person what? So some person was sitting over here and he got to <clears throat> suppose some person got to see those uh, so, so suppose basically what basically happened the light rays were reflected by this chair and the reflected light rays reached the eyes of this person. Right now, so reflection is happening here. The light is coming from a medium, it reflected back from it and bounced back into the air. And you bounced light rays, and that's why we are able to see this object. Hope it is clear, sir. Okay, no? Yes, Abu. sir. What happens uh, if you keep a mirror in one place, then you uh, like. Uh, put a, mil a mirror in other place and then uh, mm -hmm. like uh, you reflect the light uh, the uh, the light on the mirror and then you turn the light to an uh, uh, you turn the mirror to an other mirror mm -hmm. and then in that mirror you turn to other mirror so what the uh, mirror would mm -hmm. be like mm -hmm. see that is the case of multiple reflections. Sir, uh, sir, but you should like, uh, you you close the flashlight at that time. Uh, okay. Like, uh -huh. like, like you're telling, first complete, complete your question, yeah. 
like uh, you uh, uh, sir like just suppose that the light is uh, uh, the the flashlight is a mirror the mm -hmm. chair is a mirror the person is a mirror okay, okay? And, and then uh, you uh, like you are uh, on the side and then uh, you f uh, you flash a light on one mirror so and then like suppose the uh, all the mirror are in like one like uh, like uh, like uh, in a sequence like um, when you flash the light on one place it will reflect on uh, the exact place uh, where the other mirror is then the exact place so would the light uh, would the uh, light uh, be reflecting without hmm. you uh, opening the uh, light okay okay so what i can understand from the question you are saying that you have a case where you are placing multiple mirrors like this for example there is a mirror here and you have a mirror here also and suppose there is a one more mirror here right now okay so suppose light is coming from a source it reflected falls on this and then falls upon this and then again gets reflected am i right yes, what you're trying to say yes sir. okay and now you were saying that you turn off this torch. Right now you were saying we turn off this torch. Yes, sir. Okay, no? So simply what will happen? The light will be getting reflected from this one, this one, and this one. As soon as it turn off the torch, the reflection of the light will basically stop. No, sir. I'm not saying like that. Uh -huh. Sir, I'm saying uh, on a, in a triangle. Okay, okay. Uh, are you talking about kaleidoscopes? Are you okay? Okay, just let me show you an image of it. Kaleidoscope, I think you were talking about. Have you uh, have you got a project on that? No, sir. I like that is uh, just a question. Okay, okay. Let me just show you. See in this image you can see. See multiple images of this person is being formed in the image in the mirror. Just let me get the appropriate image here. Anyways, see. <clears throat> uh, basically what you are trying to say I, 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 from what I can understand you are saying that you have got three mirrors stuck to each other in the form of a, a triangle right yes sir okay like this right now yes sir and from somewhere we are flashing a torch right inside it right. Yes, so now what will happen now? imagine there is a 3D structure of it like this so in this multiple reflections will happen right now reflection will not happen just once but it will be happening multiple times multiple times the apas may reflect correct so the light will be somewhat traveling like this it gets reflected from this one and then from this one and in this manner it will continue to reflect multiple times and then finally it will be coming out from the another side side okay no? and in fact when you are having um, rectangular mirrors and you stack them with each other, a triangular shape and this structure is actually called as kaleidoscope. Okay. Sir, now. what are the, like, uh, yes. if you like take uh, these three mirrors, you uh, put it further. Okay, you we put it further. We f f further elongate it. Increase the length of it. Yes, sir. No, no, like uh, the the three mirrors, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you put it further. Okay, okay. We put it further. Okay, not we are not sticking sticking them. Uh, 
See, basically in that case, a multiple reflection will form and multiple images will be forming there. Right now, just for example, you go to the barber shop. You will see that he will be placing two mirrors on the opposite walls. Uh, there are two mirrors on the opposite walls, right now. Also, if someone is sitting on the chair, he might see that multiple images are formed of this person. He will see that his image is formed in this mirror also. And the, another image is formed in the front, uh, front mirror. So on, he will see that so many images are formed. So when two plane mirrors are placed parallel to each other, Parallel, you understand, right? Now, parallel ki kya meaning hota hai? Yes, sir. So, these two mirrors are parallel to each other. Infinite number of images are formed in that case. Okay, now, infinite number of images are formed in that case. Suppose you are having two mirrors like this. Ek ye mirror hai. And there is another mirror, this one. Suppose ki you are placing both of them at 90 degree. 90 degree ke angle pe humne place kya hai. Okay, now. So let's know okay, how many images will be formed. For example, okay, you have placed a ball here. Ek ball apne place kya hai. And the question is asked you to tell me okay, how many images of this ball will be formed in this plane mirror, in, in this mirror. So the simple answer to this question is found out using by a formula 360 upon 90 minus 1. So that is 4 minus 1, that is 3. So three images of this ball are formed here when they were placed at an angle, right now. So when you place two mirrors at an angle, multiple images will be formed, but it will depend upon the angle at which you have placed them. Yes, Abu. Sir, then what about uh, like the the room is dark? Yeah. The the whole room is dark, and then mm. uh, you just flash the light at this. Uh, uh, unlimited, uh, this like uh, reflecting the like this, this thing, uh, this, uh, uh, like this. Uh, the I, got thingy, I got the it, thing I got it, I got it, and then mm -hmm. you flash light. So, like, uh, it is like very, uh, so long that the like, uh, it cannot like pass, uh, like, the uh, the uh, like, it is not fast enough. As the hmm. uh, speed of light. No, no ha, see, basically what will happen? Eh? It will it be is. having the same speed as that of light. The speed of the light will be same here also. That is three lakh kilometer per second. Okay, now speed yes, sir, light sir, change in okay. Uh, no, sir. Like basically, like mm -hmm. uh, you put uh, like the the three mirrors are like very very long. So mm -hmm. if you uh, the the room is dark, and mm -hmm. then uh, and then you flash a light. So the the three mirrors are like so long that it cannot. Uh, it would take one uh, uh one or two seconds to uh, the light to like uh, leave the uh, part. So basically, uh, after if you off the light after uh, two or three seconds, uh, will it. Uh, like okay, will you, it you... still be visible? Will it still be visible? Yes, sir. Uh, see. First of all, <clears throat> the thing is what was going to happen in the dark room, you are flashing it, right? So you have a flash the light in this one. Multiple reflections will take place, right? Now. So there are multiple reflections will be uh, taking place here. So thereby, images will also be formed. The light rays images will be formed on the opposite mirrors in this one. Light ki image form hogi, opposite mirrors, right? So, if somehow one can see the images, so he will see that multiple images form hongi. Ek bar reflection hota hai, ek image form hoti hai. Do bar reflection hota hai, do images form hoti hai. So that is one thing. Now talking about ki you have turned off the source of light, will the light still be visible? The answer to that simple, the answer to that question is that once you turn, uh, first of all understand this one more thing, okay? Multiple reflections will stop when yeah, multiple reflections curve stop. Okay. Either one reason is that the intensity of light becomes very low. It becomes so low that we cannot see it any further. And then the question will, if I were to turn the uh, torch off, will it become, uh, will it stop? The answer is that there could be a difference of a very uh, millionth of a second difference can be seen there. A very tiny fraction 
of uh, difference can be seen the moment when you turn it off and the moment you, you when you can't see it any further okay now because the, the reflection is continuously taking place right now suppose you have turned the torch 0.5 seconds ago 0.5 seconds pehle aapne isko off kar diya so there's a possibility that you will be still seeing it after 0.1 or 0.2 second getting it what i'm trying to say yes sir so yeah that is possible actually okay no so that is the case and also do remember this interesting a phenomena when you place two uh, plane mirrors at 90 degree to each other three images will be formed if an object is placed between the two mirrors okay and between two parallel mirrors infinite number of images are formed okay so you were asking uh, questions you were uh, we were about to discuss electric currents and circuits right so before we discuss that chapter first of all you tell me what do you understand by electricity yes so electricity what do you understand sir electricity is an uh, energy hmm. correct electricity is an energy and how electricity is produced what sir how electricity is produced mm, electricity can uh, be produced by uh, windmills dams mm. correct uh, correct and uh, chemical energy mm. from the batteries also right mm. so that is true <clears throat> but then the very fundamental question is that what actually happens what actually is happening inside the wires which <clears throat> uh turns off the different appliances the electricity we say it is coming via the wires wires ke zariye electricity hamari gharon tak aati hai it is being produced in the power station right ek power station se supply ho raha hai electricity and it is <clears throat> powering different appliances at our homes but the question is that also we know that there are different different ways by which electricity is produced hydroelectricity is there using the windmills electricity is produced using the solar energy will uh, uh, electricity is produced even nuclear energy can be used to produce electricity there are different ways geothermal energy can also be used to produce electricity okay no different ways are there but then the root question comes here that what actually when you talk about a uh, talk at a atomic level atomic level pe jab hum baat karte hain so what actually is happening which leads to generation of electricity so thereby we break it down to the point where we say that every matter on earth is made up of atoms right no everything is made up of the atoms and atom is the tiniest entity it is the fundamental most fundamental unit okay now so once we understood that for example you have copper wires which is preferred which is preferred for conduct, uh, conducting electricity so the atoms found in the copper wires will be having some special particles it will be having some special particles called as electrons and electrons these are the charged particles just to keep it simple understand that they are having some energy so it is due to the flow of the electrons found in the atoms that electricity is generated what did i say i said that electricity is generated due to the flow of charged particles called as electrons getting it up what i'm saying yes sir okay no? so what what are electrons uh, electrons are uh, charged pa particles hmm. okay no? electrons are the particles due to the flow of the electrons electricity is generated so when you see the electricity coming into your house know that it is actually due to the 
फ्लो ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन दायर वायर के अंदर इलेक्ट्रॉन फ्लो कर रहे होते सो बिकॉज ऑफ डार्ट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस्ड राइट वॉट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इलेक्ट्रिक सेल के बारे में डिस्कस किया था हमने वॉट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल सर इलेक्ट्रिक सेल इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेर वेर विच इज फिल्ड विथ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी केमिकल करेक्ट ओके ना सो इलेक्ट्रिक सेल्स आर बेसिकली सोर्स ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ओके ना एंड दे आर बेसिकली वेन वी स्टडी अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक सेल्स टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द सेल दिस सिंपल सेल इफ समाइम्स इफ वी ओपन इट वील सी डेट दे आर सम केमिकल्स फॉन्ड इन साइड दिस राइट ना so electric cells we know that these are some source of electricity that in simple words that is true simple words mein ye sahi baat hai but how does electricity comes from it because there are some chemicals found in it and chemicals aapas mein react kar rahe hote hain okay na so due to the chemical reactions happening inside the cells ye electricity produce karte hain so chemical reactions gives electricity getting it abu okay na yes, sir also the amount of energy produced by a electric cell it's not that much it's a small amount of electricity okay na and once the chemicals in the electric cells are used up when chemical reactions stops chemical reactions hone band hote hain so then the electric cells stops producing electricity any further and then you have to recycle it right now not throw it you have to recycle it basically selling it to the those people who purchase the uh, used items also But, when you is yes uh, uh, mm -hmm. बेसिकली बाय द Uh, who would be buying the e-wastes, electronic wastes, and they will be further selling it to the um, factories where it is again recycled. Okay, now also never try to open it yourself. If you have an expired battery, one should not be opening it because it is loaded with so many chemicals inside it. <laughs> okay, now mm -hmm. and then there are some other type of cells also. For example, rechargeable batteries are also there, right? Now, yes, so sir. they can be electrically recharged once again. For example, the lithium batteries found inside our found in the cell phone, right? Now, okay, now so the uh, rechargeable batteries are also there. And when you see the cells, cells are having two terminals, a positive and a negative terminal. Can you tell me which one is positive and which one is negative here? Sir, the tip one is uh, positive, and then the down one is negative. Down one is negative. Very good. And this tip actually continues till the other end of the cell. The other end the continue करता है. So this uh, this tip is actually inside क्या है ये carbon rod होता है. Okay, now it is actually a carbon rod. Okay. Now what what do we know about battery? What is the concept of battery sir battery is uh, 
multiple cells multiple cells okay now how do we connect the cells to make a battery uh, by a wire no no uh, by a wire that is uh, that is that can be done or oh, basically when you place two cells side by side to each other to tell me the way in which i have placed these two cells together is it the proper way no right now because i have <clears throat> placed the negative terminals together that is not the correct way okay uh do tell me one more thing that uh, we studied about bulbs also okay now can you tell me a little bit about bulbs the structure of the bulb how does bulb produces light we are talk not talking about the led bulbs or the cfls we are talking about the incandescent bulb sir the round one the round one the one that is made up of glass and that gives off uh, yellow light what is the structure of that basically sir uh, there is a uh, wire mm -hmm. called uh, i forgot the name of the wire it so is simply called as filament and the filament is the made up of tungsten yes sir tungsten so like uh, uh, tungsten is like um, it uh, it like um, uh, gets heated it gets heated uh, uh, easily so like basically if they uh, don't use like a tungsten and they use iron so like it will take like minutes to uh, for it to start working so they use tungsten because uh, tungsten like base uh, it gets uh, hot in like seconds mm -hmm. so by the uh, hot uh, uh, by the hot uh, uh, by the hotness of the mm. um, uh, the uh, the wire uh, it produces uh, energy and then uh, in the start like because uh, the tungsten wire it is like very thin at the first because uh, it needs to get the energy like it needs to get hot fast and then uh, for it to for the bulb to start working and then it will be fat at the end because like um, because of it to like uh, stop okay okay so many things which we have said that is true uh answer one more uh, one question to me that why is it that we won't be using the iron wires but preferring to use tungsten wire sir because the iron uh, wire uh, uh, the does not get hot uh, fast <clears throat> see that is not the main reason behind you uh, behind using tungsten in it okay na the main reason is that if you were to use the iron in place of uh, tungsten you use iron as the filament <laughs> iron will melt very easily iron will melt very easily right now because the melting point of the iron is lower than that of uh, tungsten okay now but if you were to use the tungsten it has got a very high melting point talking about iron iron ki melting point hoti hai 1500 and 40 or uh, 38 degrees celsius ke aas pass that is the melting point of the iron talking about tungsten tungsten comparatively has got a very high melting point that is somewhere around 3500 or 3400 ke aas pass hoti hai 3400 degrees celsius approx so which one has got a more high uh, more what uh, melting point obviously tungsten. tungsten so the reason that it has got such a uh, high melting point is uh, this is the reason why we'll be using it okay no Sir, so even also... if the fuse no contrary to this na in fuse we'll be using a wire of low melting point fuse mein hum low melting point wale wires use karte hain or you Sir, can but... just take a single th single copper wire hum ek le sakte hain you open the copper wire and just take a single strand out of it or two strand out of it and then twist it and you can make a fuse uh, yes sir sir but the uh, fuse is also made of uh, tungsten 
तो फ्यूज इज इन पेड ऑफ टंगस्टन नो फ्यूज हम टंगस्टन पे नहीं बनाते हैं फ्यूज वाई इज नॉर्मली मेड अप ऑफ कॉपर ना fuse wire is not made up of tungsten and then why is a uh, fuse uh, like a uh, why is fuse needed how uh, why is fuse needed ha huh? so that's a good question simply why we need to fu- uh, need a fuse and see let me just explain that to you suppose what happens current is passing this wire is carrying the current to your home and this is coming from a power station let's say suppose if too much amount of current passes too much extra amount of current is passing into it so if extra current were pa- were to pass to your home now so thereby the different appliances that are connected to the wire different appliances they will burn or they will be damaged okay now they will be damaged they will damage ho jayenge because the wire uh, the appliances has a capacity to operate it ye ek certain capacity pe operate kare for example let's take an electric kettle let's say it will be operate it will be uh, operating on let's say suppose 100 ampere of current it requires for example but the amount of extra current aa raha hai so let's say ki 150 ampere of current is uh, coming into the circuit so will this electric kettle function no it will simply burn or blow off ye short circuit hoga isme getting it now yes sir that's why in the circuit sir mm-hmm. so, uh, so sir that's why uh, like um mm, the fuse is like uh, uh, on the on the like attached to the wire so like basically if uh, extra amount of uh, uh, like mm. uh, um, <laughs> and it comes into the wire so it will uh, get a short and then the appliance won't get burned exactly that is the purpose of using a fuse wire and then you can add a new one exactly we can simply replace it nowadays ready made fuse fuse wires are available in the market you don't have to earlier ke pehle kya hota tha na you have to uh, like cut a piece of wire and then uh, attach it into the fuse but nowadays ready made fuse are available in the market like this one you can just plug it in it okay na no? so that is the thing also fuse wire should be having a low melting point let me tell you why why a fuse wire should be having a low melting point the reason is that you might have seen or observed that when high electricity comes into the wire wire becomes very hot right no sometime yes. you might have observed this so if the wire becomes very hot no so suppose you were in the circuit if the wire becomes very hot so it's high chances that there could be a fire there could be a fire in the house so in the pathway of the flow of current you have placed a fuse wire jiski melting point low hoti hai suppose for example copper suppose you have taken a copper wire so suppose the copper wire uh, i don't exactly recall the melting point of it let's say suppose it is now 200 degrees celsius this is not the correct figure but just put, uh, to understand it we are taking a figure suppose iski melting point 200 degrees celsius hai getting it okay but the current uh, uh, the heat produced in it is let's say ki 180 degrees celsius ki heat produce ho rahi hai jab extra current flow kar raha hai wire for example just uh, understand it the figures are hypothetically exactly figures nahi just under try to understand it and the problem is that ki 180 degree celsius temperature agar reach hota hai so that will pose a problem that can cause an electric circuit a uh, short circuit jisse aag lag sakti hai ghar mein right no so that's why you will be placing a, a fuse wire fuse wire that is made up of copper lead bhi hum use karte hain so fuse wire use karne ke liye hum copper and lead ka use karte hain so dono ko mila ke hum fuse wire banate hain and it has got a low melting point suppose it has got a melting point of only 150 degree celsius so now 180 degree celsius heat is coming into this so obviously ye melt ho jayega kyunki iski melting point to 150 degree celsius hai getting it now bu yes sir 
So this is a mechanism that is guarding our home different appliances against the overflow of current. Hope it is clear. Hmm. And also, we were talking about the valves. We know the difference between the melting point of the two. Right now, that's why you'd be preferring to use the tungsten. Okay. Also, you might see that uh, if you were to look at the structure of the bulb, the incandescent bulb. So they were two supporting wires also, right now. Yes. These were the supporting wires in it. <clears throat> Also, it will be having two terminals, isn't it? There are yes. two terminals in the bulb also. Okay. Nowadays, what type of bulbs we are using? And why is it that we switch to using those type of bulbs? What is the advantage? So LED the, bulbs. Because the LED bulbs take uh, less energy. Very good. Correct, correct. And? The LED bulbs uh, are more secure. It, uh, it won't break. It won't break. Very good. Okay, now also it uh, it won't break. Uh, so it has got a longer lifespan as compared to the uh, glass bulbs. It is uh, in terms of energy, it is very efficient. Right now, also it does not have the weather problem. Sometimes you might see that the uh, incandescent bulbs. This one. In cold conditions or in extreme uh, hot weather, it might not uh, uh, um, light up properly. Okay, no. Also, apart from emitting light, it is giving heat also, no. Right, no. So that was the problem with the incandescent bulb, and the LED bulbs does not give off the light uh, of uh, heat also. Right. So these were the different things about it. What is the full form of LED, by the way? What is the full form of LED? Any idea about this? No, sir. This is light emitting diode. Light emitting diode. <coughs> you might have seen previous to LED uh, CFLs were used. Nowadays, CFLs are not in, uh, not in use. Okay, now CFLs were also used before the LED. CFL. Those were the compact fluorescent bulbs. Okay, no? it is still sold online. You can uh, buy it, but people don't prefer it to use it anymore because LED bulbs are far may uh, far more <laughs> cheaper and also energy efficient. So from the chapter energy, uh, electricity and currents, electricity currents and circuits, some more topics are left which we'll be studying in the next class and then revising. Also in the next class, I'm thinking to take a a small test. So, do tell me which chapters you have covered properly so that I can take tests from those chapters first. Is a book. Hello. Is that a... mm -hmm. Which chapters you have covered so far? Which chapters you have revised? Sir, from the lesson that is going to come in my exam. Uh -huh. From that, I'm asking. 